Hey guys, Dr. Josh Jagoda here, and today we're going to talk about carpal tunnel syndrome. I want to talk about this because I have a lot of patients who come into me and they say that they have or were diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome in both their hands. And research wise, it is very, very, very unlikely that you probably have carpal tunnel syndrome in both your hands. You may have it in one, you may have it in both, but it's really unlikely. And if you are having numbness and tingling into both hands, yes, it's possible, not likely, but it may be coming from further up in the chain, up into the neck, and be some sort of compressive forces onto the nerves within the neck, or some sort of nerve entrapment. But anyway, carpal tunnel, right? If we think about it, a lot of people think it's here, uh, and I'm going to show you up front, because a lot of people think it's like right there. It's actually right here, okay? Right there, guys. That's where carpal tunnel is. You have a nerve that runs through there. You have some and a bunch of tendons that run underneath this little area here. And so when you get a lot of the closing down of the hand, where this hole... So imagine if you have a hole like this, and you have a bunch of nerves or a nerve, and a bunch of tendons that run through this hole, and now you're closing down this hole by texting a lot, mouse work, holding bad posture, gripping a lot, and not opening up your hand and splaying them out often enough, you get a lot of that closing down. As that closes down over and over and over again, you will have median nerve or carpal tunnel symptoms. And those symptoms could be tingling, numbness, burning, uh, into the two fingers here, some of the thumb, and the thumb part, or this part of the ring, ring finger. So it could be all these four fingers, it could be just some of these three, but you will typically have it in these two, three, or four fingers. And as a result, guys, it's really that simple. Open up your hand pull back on the thumb, try to stretch the palm of the hand, try to stretch the fingers, try to put your hand flat onto a wall, flat onto a surface, and open up the palm so that you can really get some of that carpal tunnel. Again, it is a tunnel, right? If the tunnel becomes more crowded, there's going to be less room for that nerve. The thing that is the most sensitive is that nerve. So at the end of the day, if that tunnel is closing down, try to open it back up the best you can. And also, keep in mind that it could be coming from somewhere else. Like I said, a nerve entrapment is very common if on those people who work on computers right here. So a lot of people get diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome. They get the carpal tunnel release, but the syndrome never goes away. Why? Because it wasn't the right site. It wasn't the right area. So sometimes it gets trapped right here in the pronator teres and then possibly, like we said, up through the chain, up in the shoulder and into the neck. But it is very common, especially, like I said, for people who are sitting down like this, they have their arm flex, their, their carpal tunnel is closed off, and this is constantly contracted around that nerve. So guys, if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, Start with your hand, start with your fingers, start stretching the forearm, and I can promise you that you will more than likely get alleviation of these symptoms. Make sure you open it up. If it doesn't go away, you have to figure out where the problem is. If the problem can be assessed properly, and you can figure out that it's actually coming from the neck, or it's actually coming from the carpal tunnel, it doesn't really matter. You have to get it treated because you do not want these surgeries if you don't need them, right? It's unnecessary to get a bilateral carpal tunnel release and then it's really unfavorable for that patient out there who gets these releases and then still has those same problems because they found out that the doctor operated in the area that was not the right problem. So keep that in mind guys, start with conservative treatment, start with stretching, start with exercise, start with manual therapy, start with releasing, start with exercise. Then if that doesn't go away, there you go. You have your first plan. All right, guys. I'm Dr. Josh Jagoda. This is some information about carpal tunnel. Make sure you open up your hands. All right, guys. We'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye.